Elizabeth Ann Bailey Seton, better known as Mother Seton, becomes the first American-born person beatified by the Roman Catholic Church. A pioneer of Catholicism in America, she is buried in this tomb in Emmitsburg, Maryland. In 1809, she started a religious community in this stone house. Her Sisters of Charity opened the first free Catholic school in the United States and blazed the trail for the Catholic parochial school system in America. They also conducted the first Catholic orphanage, hospital, and refuge for lepers in this country. The White House, the school which the order opened shortly after its founding, is filled with relics of the woman who, as a widowed mother of five, was converted from Protestantism in her 31st year and who is now well on her way to sainthood. The Mother Seton Guild has been the official organization working for her beatification and presumably will continue its efforts for her canonization, which generally, but not always, follows. 4,000 American pilgrims come to Rome to attend the ceremonies. Among them is Anne Therese O'Neill, whose miraculous cure from deadly leukemia is a factor in the beatification. Francis Cardinal Spellman of New York and other leading members of the American clergy also come to Rome. The great Basilica of St. Peter's is in gorgeous array with a tapestry honoring the new Beata, or Blessed One, and depicting the two miracles attributed to her. The devout arrive for the first formal ceremony of beatification which is held in the morning. One of the most solemn in the church, it is a two-hour service of prayer, chanting, and proclamation. Late in the afternoon, according to procedure, Pope John XXIII arrives for a briefer surface of veneration. He points out that for the first time there appears above the altar of the chair of St. Peter, a heroine of the United States of America. The pontiff kneels in prayer before the shrine dedicated to Mother Seton. He tells the 6,000 persons gathered here that Elizabeth Seton is the first officially recognized flower of sanctity that her country has offered to the world. Thus, 142 years after her death, Elizabeth Seton receives the penultimate exaltation of her adopted church, for which she had worked such good both in and after her lifetime. <laughs>